Hey everyone, welcome to Commander Clash. This week we're doing Standard Commander, where each deck that we have built must have all the cards that are standard legal. So there's no cards in these decks that have been that aren't standard legal. Um, so let's start it off with Tom. What are you running? So I was I had a couple of really fun ideas batting around, but then as the deadline grew closer, I just decided to go with a more powerful deck, and I went with Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. Two green, blue, two, three. Whenever you cast a first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library, you get to draw a card or play it for free. Makes it real fun. Seems like a solid choice. I got to play Rashmi a little bit when we were just showcasing the new commanders from Kaladesh, but she got hated out pretty fast, and I'm curious to see what Rashmi's fate will be this time. Will she do crazy things, or will she die horribly? We shall find I, out. Yeah, I expect nothing less than the <laughs> game that happened with yours, so I'm excited to try it out. All right, sweet. All right, Seth, what are you running? So I'm playing General Tazri, and if you remember, last time we played Standard Commander, I was General Tazri, and I'm not going to tell you what my deck does. You kind of got to wait and see, but I wanted access to all the colors, and I definitely have lots of cards of every color in my deck. So I think the theme will become evident pretty quickly once we start playing. So I'm going to leave it at that for now and let it be a surprise. I think I can name two of the cards in your deck already. They're both yeah. artifacts. <laughs> Is one, one of them Manolith? And oh, one I, seven. I I am not playing. I'm not playing the same combos I played last time with uh, Paradox Engine. No Paradox Engine in my deck. Just mm -hmm. in case you were wondering. Interesting. All right. Well, Jennifer, what are you running? So I pulled up um, Kalitas, Traitor of Get. I was flipping through all the different commanders, and I wanted to pick one that. We hadn't really done lately, but it would still be fun, and I could, like, do my own thing with it. And I just wanted to do straight black beat face zombies and vampires. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a lot of really good black removal in Sandra right now, so I'm taking advantage of that as well. But pretty much it's just black monsters. It's going to be great. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Efficient beaters are efficient. Sounds good. All right, and this is Tomer. I'm running the Pala Pilot Exemplar. I don't think we got anybody played her um, last time we did Standard. Um, and I think she's actually one of the best choices for a Standard Commander Clash because her abilities all relate towards dwarves and vehicles. And you don't really, you don't have any vehicles outside of Standard. And you don't really have many dwarves outside of Standard. So in terms of themes, she doesn't lose much. Um, if you just focus on standard. So this is probably like the best uh, metagame for her, actually. So she's, she looks great. She's card advantage in Boros, and I really, really like that. And hopefully I get to do some things. So what you're saying is that you won't feel bad if we attack you first. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. I oh, okay, just complain. checking. <laughs> However, <laughs> I think she's doing the best she can in this meta. All right, so starting hands. This hand is two lands. It's actually good. I just need to hit basically two more lands. I'm set. So I'm going to keep it. Um, yeah, 37 lands. A lot of ramp sources that could be coming early. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'm keeping my four lander and taking a picture for sure. Mm. I like it. Ooh, I mean, I don't expect, this, don't expect this game to go super quick. So hopefully I should be able to last towards where I need my deck to go. Yeah, I'm going to keep mine as well. I'm also keeping... I've got three lands and four spells, and hey, hopefully I'll get there. Those are good numbers. Yeah. I'm going to start us off with a, bolus for, with a Bolus Forest. I will say I've really kind of converted my whole online collection to these Bolus lands. I like them a lot. They're pretty. Uh, I'll start on... Woodland Stream. Oh, I'm jealous. Jealous already. And a swamp. <laughs> swamp. Oh, that's not a good draw. However, uh, I still have two lands in my hand, and I will play one of them. Let's start with the planes. Mm -hmm. I will say that uh, 
while building this deck, I thought it would cost a lot more than it did, just monetarily. And then realized that a lot of the cards that are good in blue-green that are in standard are super cheap. Which is nice. This deck costs less than 20 tickets online. Ooh. That's awesome. That's wow. a pretty good deal. I had to okay. fudge the budget because Kalitas is $15. <laughs> That's like the whole budget pretty much yeah. by itself. Yeah, so I just kind of pretended she was like... Or he, sorry. Just kind of pretended that he was like $2 and went from there. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that yeah, means I, the one card and it's my commander. Like, ugh. Yeah, I, I, I've never considered the commanders as part of the budget. I don't think they're supposed to be. Yeah, they're I just, agree. Yeah, or else commanders. it would be very limiting. Mm -hmm. When I uh, did like 10 ticket challenges, the commanders were never part of the budget. Because why? Vroom, vroom. Why do that to yourself? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy? What? This is a 3-1 dwarf. Come on, people. I kill, think I'll kill Tomer. Kill Tomer. Scry 2 is what I'm worried about. <laughs> I just want to hit my land drops. No, I feel you. Which is Vanderbar. Ooh, magnifying glass. This is a, a card I learned from Seth. And I'm excited to use. <laughs> it, it's pretty sweet. Uh, Alright, I guess we... Keep playing tap lands. Hey, Desert of the True. Mm-hmm. Oh, you wouldn't be doing that, Seth, would you? Doing what? A cycling deck? Would I do that, Tomer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, now, now you've got my, my curiosity. <laughs> Ooh, Drana. Drana! I got my not commander commander out quite early this time. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let us see here. Do, do. First strike. E. Now let's just play, let's just play SRAM. Good old SRAM. Good old SRAM. Well, those uh, uh. cards. I hear a lot of fetching from, from Seth, so I'm just going to send this over. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I send some vehicles coming our way in the <laughs> next couple of turns. No. That's fine. I'm surprised that everybody's so scared about the dwarf deck. Like, seriously? There's I am kind of surprised by that, played, too. Like, <laughs> any time now? Ooh, uh, our promise. That's nice. I'm just gonna cycle. <gasps> ah, the hippo! It's revealed the cycle. I love those cards. I, I love that hippo so much. <laughs> I was convinced you were just gonna run Panharmonicon with um, the God Pharaoh's gift. No, nope, those are my nope, two none of that. Calls. The cycling. So, hippo. I guess we'll play Foul Orchard mm. and uh, pass the turn. Hold. Hmm. There's a lot of ramp going on. Everyone but me is ramping. Well, I hadn't yet, but I there am now. Is. Hey, Manolith! I really like the artwork of this Manolith. Me too. It's beautiful. I agree. Ryan Yee. Also my favorite artwork for Command Tower. Hmm. Same artist. Unfortunately, I did not draw land. I know, just scared of Rashmi. Sorry. Okay. Wait, did you attack me last turn, Tomer? Yeah. You did, yes. Tomer. You're <laughs> complaining about my dwarves. <laughs> I thought my, we were friends. My limited format dwarves. <laughs> Actually, Veteran Motorist was close to a standard staple for a while, as yeah. weird as that sounds. Do, do, do. Oh, oh boy. Bizarre Barge. That hey. card advantage. That's so two cards card there. Advantage. It's a, Ooh, basically boy. a Mull Drifter. All right, let's attack. Boop. And let's just even out the health totals here. Thanks. I think my complaining worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still most afraid of Rajmi. I mean, I played her, so. Oh, boy. Untap up to two lands, then the scar card. Hmm. Ooh. 
All right, let's cycle. <laughs> of course. It's time to uh, stomp the yard, if you will. <laughs> and cycle. This is the Nick Cannon of my deck. I think that was stomp the yard. I'm not sure. No, that was drumline. Which one was stomp the yard? I don't know. Our back stomper it is. <laughs> <laughs> what do we Link do Shepherd, here? And death. There's no like standard version of the living death, is there? Oh, I wish. That would be so be sweet. sweet. If there were still cons, you could wake, wake the ancestors, but... Yeah. Um... Huh. I think we're going to take a turn off of cycling. And cast a cycler. Ooh. Nice. So the question is, is it Drakehaven? Is it... It's probably Drakehaven. I mean, or yeah, there's only two, right? There's Drake Haven and the Draining one. The yeah, those are the two, the two big payoffs. Those are the two enchantments. Then of course you have the Archfiend for negative one, negative one counters, and you got the Scry one. A lot of things you can do. But as of right now, Seth has no red mana. That is very true. He may just need a Manalith. I wouldn't mind a Manalith. Uh, I think we're going to drop Kalitas. Goodbye, graveyards. Hmm. I'll just play some more vehicle support cards, I guess. Error not. Admiral. Ooh, the flying vehicles. Flying. <laughs> um, all right, what do I... I can crew. Tomer's actually yeah. got a pretty aggressive start. That's Yeah, it's true. And not everyone has a Kelly toss to keep them alive. <laughs> I'm basically the aggro player of the group now. Have you noticed that I've been playing, like, red basically every single Commander Clash? I have noticed. Oh, now that you mention it, yeah, that's weird. Okay, let's let's swing around. Oh. Jennifer has a pretty sizable... Huh, okay. Distribute the damage evenly between these two? Yeah. Spread, spread the love. A little sure. bit. Sure. Excited for that seven damage backswing on you. Seven damage. <laughs> Gonna fire up your lumbering falls. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, thing on the ice. Hmm. Not a huge fan of that one. It'll ruin all those precious canters. Oh goodness. <laughs> Neat. Oh boy. That is scary. Oh, that's 10 damage. What was the other thing? Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll leave it back. What's the worst that could happen? You flip your thing in the ice and you don't go to attack with it? But then I'll gain another 5 life. Granted, you're 100% correct, but mm. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we just play this. Oh, oh that's mm. right. This exists. Draw yeah, a few a cards. Card. We were all like, yeah, it's for sure Drakehaven. <laughs> hmm. Little did uh, we know. So now he can just cycle his entire hand multiple times? Yeah. What's the problem with that? I can't really do anything with it. It's just for value. Ooh. There's a couple <laughs> that cycle and do something when they're cycled. Yeah, um, but I have to like cycle I have to cycle into them. Uh, I we'll mean, keep cycling, cycling costs zero, so... Well, Seth, you had my curiosity, but now... Now you have my attention. <laughs> uh, I guess we cycle this? And untap that? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um... And cycle that, maybe? And I guess we cycle this. And, eh, that. Okay. 
And I guess uh, I guess we're about done cycling. That's it. Well, we got we got one more. I guess I can cycle this too. Might as well go and for broke. That's that's uh that's all that's all the cycling we got. Hmm. So we'll pass the turn. Discard and discard. Planes so I, I cycled a lot. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really hmm. do anything, but I did cycle many times. That was pretty sweet. It's it's drawing cards. It's it's a reward in and of itself. <laughs> Is that your goal, Seth? Are you just gonna try to go down to zero, mill yourself there, out, and then declare yourself victor? <laughs> there's no lab maniac, so I just gotta pretend that there's a laboratory maniac in standard. You'll just be the pretend winner of commander class, like I did it, you guys. And yeah, we're good. I didn't want that thing in the ice to flip. Yeah, fair. I kind of wanted it to flip. If you attack me, Jen, I'm going to attack you back for 15 damage, 100%. Are you going to just take that, Jen? These threats? Just letting you know. I, I don't also, know if also, that lead, also, that might be correct there. <laughs> I didn't think about that fully. That might be correct. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Interesting. Um, well, Tom... If I get rid of the new perspectives this turn, I would like you not to attack me for a turn. Is that okay? Deal. As long as when you do it, you also don't attack me. I'm not going to attack you. All right. Fair. I'm in. All right. How do I do <laughs> this? So I have... Um... I'm easy going in the end. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Let us... We're going to play this land. That's a good land. And then... One, two, three... That is a good land. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Escalate like s three modes. All right. One, two, three. Hey there. Uh, yeah, I don't effort. like that. That was, rock star. that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was great. <laughs> I'm for it. And really should. Hmm. Okay. Let's crew. Mm-hmm. These wars and vehicles are working better than I thought they would be. I mean, until the board gets wiped, and then I don't do anything. I don't think they printed a cycling board wipe. Uh, Decree of Pain. But... <laughs> oh, <my fish. laughs> oh, standard. <laughs> ah, lame. So lame. And then, you're at 42, that's why I'm hitting you. I mean, that's fair, I guess. I like how you had to tell her why. It's, it's. I think it's. Well, I already took out. I already took out Drana, so I feel a little bit bad. And I really probably should just do this against that, but I kind of just want to hold it on for other things. Now, audience, feel free to yell at Tober if it's wrong. <laughs> oh, they are. They are. I can hear them from the future. <laughs> Multiple timestamps to this moment. <laughs> I at least just want to... They People have mentioned that they want to hear my explanations for why I do things. So I'm trying to, like, zoom in and explain oh. what I'm doing. There's Rashmi. Yeah, now, now it's time for fear. Fear and death. Fear and death. The Rashmi way. I promised Tomer. Yay. Hey. How did I come be become the enemy here? <laughs> well, Seth lost his cycling for free thing, so I, I feel more confident now. I have three lands. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I can't attack Tomer. I'm not just going to leave two 5-4 tramples back to block. I have a deck full of cycling cards. 
Hmm. Uh, so what do we do now? Play Drake Haven. I, I don't. I don't have Drake Haven. <laughs> and I can't cycle for free. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tomer, <laughs> Tomer, Tomer. Win the game. <laughs> no, that that was probably probably a good choice. Uh, I'm very afraid of just dying in this turn cycle. Actually. Well, I'm not gonna attack you this turn. I don't have a oh, reason to. You seem to be very behind at this point. That's what they all say. That is true. Before they attack me and I die. <laughs> but, but we're... we're yeah? Huh? What? Yeah. We're what? Yeah. Oh, you almost said it. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do we do? <laughs> I'll play a land. And I think we cast this... Get this. I was thinking of the next line of sleeves for MG Goldfish, and I'm not sure if it's, if it's, but we're friends, right? Or we're friends, right? I don't know if the butt <laughs> needs to be there. <laughs> Something needs to be on those sleeves. Oh. Hey. Uh, for a Plains and a Brazikath's right. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm, really I'm staying away from that. I'm staying away from that new perspective because that'll lead to my death. It's a, it has a lot of potential, that card. That's the thing. Yeah, no, I definitely I definitely <laughs> get that. <laughs> if that's sitting out, I can't really blame people for attacking me. It's not as bad as when you have that out plus an astral slide, which is the worst. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty good. Ooh, quarantine field. Not bad. Uh, eh, yeah. Ooh, Pilgrim's Eye. Here comes the lands. Oh, I forgot yeah, who's in this I, like I love this card. I totally forgot about Pilgrim Side, too. Interesting. Really? It's like one of the best land ramp in the set, and yeah. like in the whole card pool. Yeah, do you remember when we played into Merge for a while? That was fun. It's no mana left. This was played in the Star City Games open winning Splinter Twin deck for a while. I know this because Michael Flores won't shut up about it. Ooh. Really? Was there like something special about it? Yeah. Was... Welcome back, Drana. Oh. You could just get a bunch of lands off of it. I mean, it had Jason Mind Sculpt in the deck, so there was that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like it was a bad deck. <laughs> oh, poor wow. Man. Still, still <laughs> Jen's enemy. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. Well, I hope I find my cycling land destruction spell. <laughs> there is one. There is one. It also kills artifacts, so it's actually pretty good. Alright, well... I'm gonna try to get... rid of a certain problem here. Which problem? Mm -hmm. Rashmi problem? I'm not gonna name names. <laughs> I mean, you have to <laughs> name names, that's the whole point. <laughs> Oh. Let's at least get a card out of it first. Yeah, fair. Spin the wheel. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? A forest. Good job, me. Hey. Oh. I was gonna. I was gonna be tapping. Oh, never mind. I. I like the tapping of Tomer's stuff. So do it's I. Good, good call. All right, I want it. He is, he is exiling my creature, so <laughs> that's how that's gonna work. Won't be aggressive. I thought you'd be proud of me, Tom. I'm playing like your play style. I am hitting proud things, of you for this one. Being proactive, hitting it's, more things. It's all my favorite things. You're not wrong. <laughs> They're just being used against me. It's, yeah. All right, that's it. No attacking for me this turn. Hmm. So, while I was building this deck, my chat asked me if Smuggler's Copter was legal. Oh. Since it's in the standard sets, 
but isn't standard legal. That's oh. a really good point. I didn't even think of that. I, I think last time we did this, Tom played Smuggler's Copter. I did play Smuggler's Copter. And it was banned. I'm so I, based on precedent, <laughs> I think it's legal. Okay. I was curious. I didn't know which way it went. Ooh. Oh, dear. Why, why do you need to give your artifacts expert there, Tom? Because Padim draws cards. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> the only reason why. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely running the copter. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. I was just like, yeah, this is in standard. Yeah, I mean, I, I set the, the present earlier, so I would suggest it. Well, I was filtering my searches on format standard, so it didn't show up in my stuff. So I just assumed I couldn't use it or whatever. So I was just curious which way it fell. So was I. I, I realized that now that you mentioned it, I'm disappointed I'm not playing Copter. But I think the last when I played Copter before, the argument was this is banned. Why are you playing Copter? So I'm good with it either way. Yeah. I'll just block, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. He's done his job. Is Rashmi under that or no? No. No. Oh, okay. Went to the command zone. So that's fine. Oh, well, and then I... Kalitos gets a zombie. Forgot about that. Yay, zombies! That's a sweet zombie token. Yeah. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I think I get to cast the best commander card that's in standard right now. Uh oh. Has a cast right? I don't think yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> No, that's not. No. Mm -mm. It's the, the horse. It's, it's not. Crested it's not the... Sunmare is the best commander card in standard. I don't know. If you I have a. It, yeah, then we're cooking with gas. I think I think uh, our revelation is pretty decent. Uh, I was gonna say that's the other one. That's, that's fair. That's good. Oh, well, I like this port state. Please tell me, Kalidus is a trigger on all these. He does. Oh, <laughs> it that's does. an issue. Yeah. That's uh, that's some zombies. Yep. Uh huh. Hey, zombie friends. You hey, know where they're out. going. I hey, tw That's even better than I thought it was. Oh, well, no, it's because of Calitas. Yeah. This uh, yeah. draw was pretty good. Oh, oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Thanks, Seth. Three, six, if five, you attack me, see. Jennifer, 18. you'll be sad. I don't want to make you sad, but if you do attack me, you'll be sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, oh, I have got, 18 damage. You got a magma spray or something, Tomer? It just won't work out in the way Jennifer would hope it would be. What is there in standard that... Yeah, I'm actually trying to figure this out. Yeah. What is there in standard that prevents this? I know there's ways to remove Lord of the Accursed at instant speed, but you can't get rid of hmm? 18 power at instant... What? I'm so confused. I am really lost as to I, what it might be. You should probably attack him for science. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with this. <laughs> it's tempting, but if it actually won't work out in the way I want it to, then I don't want to go that way. It's not a bluff. <laughs> and no one, no one bluffing that's would it, say that's that. That's exactly <laughs> what someone bluffing would say. I think your bluff game has actually improved a lot over the course of Commander Clash, Domer. I think so. But in this case, it's not a <laughs> I'm going to believe you and not count my chickens before they hatch. Or my zombies before they hatch, as the case mm. may be. All right. Well, I think this is the purpose of the Pala, is to come in and, you know, hunker down. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, don't counter with one black mana. I'm not. <laughs> okay, phew. I just forgot that I hadn't tapped it, and I was like, why didn't my F8 work? And then I remembered. And then that's basically it for now. Um, yep. That's kind of where I'm at, too. <laughs> so let's draw something great. We did not draw something great. We drew something actively medium. You can always draw more <laughs> cards. Oh, yeah, good point. Let's do that. So is that. Do you have actively great things you can draw? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Like womp, what? Womp. Engulf the shore? Engulf the shore would be good. Yeah, I think that's like the only thing I could have really drawn there that would make it so I didn't die immediately. But... All right, all right. I'll... Hello, Rashmi. I'll... Welcome back. I'll save everyone. Oh, thanks. Don't Bye. play the pally. Just play maybe. <laughs> if you if you wipe my zombies, I that I chose not to take you to two life with. I do appreciate that. I actually can't save everyone. I am. I don't have enough mana. He's just saving himself. Selfish. I, Selfish. I can't. I can't. I can't save anyone. Does that make, does that make you feel better? <laughs> no. A little. Yeah. Actually. Wait. Actually. I'm actually fine with the board being wiped. Do I have? Uh. I don't even have any untapped lands in my graveyard. Uh. Hmm. That certainly complicates things. I guess we play Needle Spires. Nice. So now you have red mana. And then... I guess we do this. Uh, no, then I die. I won't <sighs> attack you. How about that? <laughs> hmm. If you get rid of these zombies, neither Tomer and I or I will attack you. Whoa. I can't. I can't get rid of them. I can't get rid of them this turn. Tom talking for me now. Am I wrong? I mean, I can. I will be fine. So, yeah. I'm just gonna pass. The ominous pass with all your mana up. Well, my oh, yeah. spire. I'm still on board for saving everyone in the future, but not mm -hmm. this turn. This is a very impressive board state for four mana, I'm, I'm going to say. I mean, it's all thanks to your board wet. That's true. So you probably shouldn't attack me with your zombies since I'm the one that gave you all the mm. zombies. I'm not feeling that. You said you wanted to wipe them again. So. <laughs> yeah, you did. Like You were like, I can wipe them next time. <laughs> all right. Uh, but but I'm, I'm their master. I created them. I'm the, I'm the zombie master. No, you created them They're for me. Friend. Okay. I'll put it on every vampire you control. Yeah. I've never been happier that I said vampires than right now. Oh, uh, Drana. Drana's good. Am I dying? I guess Hopefully. I did threaten to... Oh boy, yeah, those are all going well, at you. Do you want to... Yeah, that's a thing. Haha! -ha. I was Fuck. forcing the play. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the fog gets it! That slow roll over there. It cycles! Wow. <laughs> I Not love this yet. cycling archetype. Oh, I've you never been... You know what you'll get. Player. <laughs> then right now... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Hello, cast out. Oh, no. Bye, Rashmi. Ugh. I will not let Rashmi on tap with that much mana. Why are you taking Rashmi instead of Lord of the Accursed? Oh, I have ways. <laughs> <laughs> You're, are you still running that bluff from two turns ago? <laughs> is it a bluff? <laughs> I I still think so. <laughs> is it? Especially now that you cast your cast out. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Yeah, cast out was what I was expecting a year ago, but now I don't know. Hmm. Play a land. I mm -hmm. do need to attack to use the ability... Don't attack me, Tomer. You will be sorry. Can't attack a block. Okay, fine. I hate to attack somebody. It's two. It's, oh, it's three damage. It's three damage. It's not that much. Are you just going to spend attack into the Drana? What? Why not attack into the Drana? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I guess they could trade if you block with the Drana and the Indulgent, and that would have been fine. Well, because Jennifer, Jennifer and I are friends, that's why. Yeah, we've been working together for at least two turns now. Yeah. Despite our rocky start. Mm hmm. Paid all, it Tomer. Out. We've worked it out. I'm not paying it all. I have to keep my thingy up. 
All the way. Yeah. <laughs> You're really committed to this bluff. Is it a bluff, though? I don't think it's though? a bluff. Is it a bluff? <laughs> hey. And maybe uh, we're only working together because I believe his bluff. But I don't think it's a bluff. Oh, and sure there's a copter. That would be a pretty, pretty dedicated bluff right there. If it was a bluff. Your bluff game is improved, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> it's the long con. I think I need to do this main phase of picking up the drown yard real quick. <laughs> Try for a very specific four cost spell. Ooh. Uh, all right, sure. Who are you choosing? Can't you Seth for this? Ooh, Ooh, oh. oh. No. Did you play a land yet? I think so. Let me check the log. I did. Oh, um, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, well, so, so no crush this turn. Oh, nope. so close. Whoa, what is going? Hmm. <laughs> I'm just having fun. What is this? going on? He's just shuffling. <laughs> Wait a second. Can I just hold your guys' attention, please? Look at the cards. Look at the cards. <laughs> I, I feel like busy. I feel like you're pushing your luck with the the moto thing here. <laughs> I have to drag the images across the screen. That's you're playing with fire over here. <laughs> Let's go with this one. I like I like that. Ooh, you know. it's a bad split. I should have switched those in for live crosses VCR. Whatever. Uh, so thoughts? No. I do. You want to give him the board wipe? I would just pick the the top pile. Yeah, I, I say top give him worse. the top pile. Okay. Life Crafter's Beast here is pretty good, though. I'm not too worried about it at this point. Tapped out. Kiora. I mean, you know it's in my hand. All right, I need a creature or land, so Captain can block. Oh, three islands of confiscation, too. Don't mind if I take the land. Okay. Value is good value. Job. Oh, Kefnet can block. Well, I can't do anything about this madness. It's someone else's fault now. Don't Seth worry. Man. Don't worry. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be interesting. Mmm. Seasons pass. Okay. What you getting there? All. He's getting all. <laughs> he getting everything. All. Let's see. Six mana. I don't see any. Two mana. Places. Six mana. Two mana. Oh. Uh, Days of Fallen, of course. <laughs> well, more hour revelation, I think. Zero mana. Three. I mean, you can just slow roll the hour revelation. He's fine. I'm fine. Three mana. Four. This is actually tricky. Uh, seven mana. Four mana. I'm probably gonna have to discard half of these anyway. <laughs> okay, I think that's right. I I want to show the cards that you chose, but Moto's not letting me because of the graveyard closing. That's fair. But that's fine. Oh. Okay. Eh, I'm just going to deal with it. Yeah. Take care of the problem. Tom does get back Rashmi. No, he does so, not. Oh, I good. keep letting it go to the command zone, because I have no way to do a cast out. Yeah. Oh, that's that makes me feel better. All right, goodbye, Depala. Kefnet remains. So, Tom, you are now alive, because Seth. Yeah, that was basically it. He could have just held Haze of Pollen in his hand and be fine. Yeah. I was gonna like barter with him to cast that card, but he just cast it anyways. It makes <laughs> me happy. Time to kill you both, though. Anyways, I'm gonna try my best. What? Uh, you have we... neither of you have been very helpful at all, Mister. I have don't... answers for your zombies at all times. Don't don't kill don't kill me, Tom. I just kept you alive. I just, oh, I how are you gonna win the game, though? What? Oh, you just have seven cards in hand and what? Twelve mana? That's nothing. 
Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Nothing yeah. To worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I've been We're good. Getting... I've been shutting down Rush Me both times. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's I good tried. from Tom's pers- from Tom's perspective. Well, imagine how quickly he would have won if I did not do that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, oh, that's <laughs> that's true. Well, remember this is standard. Like I cast my best instant already. And there aren't <laughs> many ways for me to trigger this when it's not my turn. More gods. Ooh, on to. Gods, gods everywhere. Away. I also forgot to pack graveyard. Oh, uh, in this round. Apparently, well, if I get a couple more lands, I've got it covered. Oh yeah, there's no lands. Sorry, Jen. It's all right. We've been doing quite well for just four lands, though. I was doing quite well until the board wipe happened again. <laughs> but it's okay. It probably was the correct play because. I had a lot of power on board, and it needed to be gone so you guys could survive. Well, plus I I was pretty confident you were going to try to kill me again. <laughs> mm, you could have asked. I actually was planning on killing uh, Kefnet over there. Oh, well, maybe I should have asked. Yeah, I was actually pretty sure that was what was going to happen, so I was very happy about that. <laughs> well, um, let's do that. And Copter's back. Yay! Cop, cop. cop. <laughs> Is that a thing now? Cop, cop. <laughs> I don't think so. I like it. It's a, it's a community <laughs> reference. It's okay. Don't yep. worry. Oh, this card. Oh, cool. I am so nervous right now. Do you think we're just going to die to Tom? I'm not sure. He has a lot of mana, and he has eight cards in hand. Eh, that's true. Oh, well, yeah, that's a start. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ugh. Ooh, wait, let me attack first before I screw this up. <laughs> oh, man, that gets everything back, potentially. Aw, oh, me. Yes, Jeez. you. <laughs> it would have been a lot worse if Rashmi was on the board. So there's that. Okay, more card draw. And some scry. Oh. oh, that's not good for us. <laughs> Ooh. That's a 5-5. Five, five. And yeah. a Nimbless of the Frost. Well, good thing I got this fog. Gross. <laughs> you did get the fog back, didn't you? <laughs> yup. That was the first card I clicked. 5-5. Five, five. Tapper prowess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to say I'm running low on answers to the shenanigans. Man, my mana is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, standard five color mana base. <laughs> I like that you threw in the, uh, the desert tap lands, too. <laughs> you can never have too many tap lands. I'm five color. All my lands come into play tap. You know what will be great here? Some, some, some more tap, tap lands. lands. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess we're doing this. Can you deal with the enchantment? Nope. Well, that's not good. Nope. <laughs> uh, wait, can I in a way that I'm not seeing? I can't. Just throwing it out. Next week, two weeks from now, you could. Two weeks from now. <laughs> <laughs> Easily. <laughs> and I'll do it with buyback as well. Oh, maybe? Oh, I don't even have double blue? Oh, my goodness, this mana. Doesn't get any worse. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we try it this way. This might lead to our death, but eh, whatever. Let's uh let's cast one of my cycling payoffs. Okay. And pass the turn. That's a good payoff. Do I need to That's a great payoff. Oh uh, yeah. We'll actually <clears throat> Yeah, we'll just pass. Yeah, I mean you can cycle at instant speed, right? 
Yeah, I was trying to think if I should try to cycle and hit a land drop, but I don't think oh, it's worth okay. doing it now. Yeah. Oh, Homer, just because you're going to take, like, 13 damage this turn. <laughs> I'm going to take 13 damage? What the heck? I mean, I kind of want to leave my mana up, too. Also, Seth, I, I propose a truce of sorts, because I am in white, so I do have enchantment removal in my deck. I think you want me around because of that whole board state that Tom has right now. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to kill you right now. Well, if you cycle the stuff first so I can play the Pala and not have her die, that'd be good. Oh my god, leave mana up for bad things that could happen to me. Mm. I, I might not cycle at all, honestly. That's not good for me either. What do I do then? I, I, I've played a Pala, I want to get some value out of her. Um... I mean, even if I do cycle, I don't think I would kill the Pala. The most cycling I would do this turn would be two, I think. And I'm... Ah, I won't kill the Paula this turn cycle. I'm gonna eat if that makes you feel better. Kind of? I'm going to eat a lot of damage right now is the problem, I think. I mean, you I, may. I just kind of said that to kind of be annoying. My cycling probably helps, though. And also, Kefnat can't attack this turn. And, and Kefnet's going to get a lot smaller, because unlike the old gods, he gets hit by negative one, negative one counters. That's true. It's my way to deal with both Bantu and Kefnet. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the Paula. And... Mm -hmm. Let's, uh... Big ol'... Okay, there we go. She's back. Yup. And what else do I want to play? Let's also play one, two, Oketra. I just wanted to add all the gods. So we got all Kefnet, the gods. We got Bantu. We got Oketra. The reason why I'm running Oketra, by the way, is she works really well with vehicles because she has indestructible, and even when she can't attack her block, she can just crew. Oh, mm -hmm. that makes sense. And she makes more crewers mm -hmm. that die to Archfiend. And do I want to play another one? Yeah, I'll, I'll just play this one too. Boom. Yeah, all right. All right. I am not the scary board state right now. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> yeah, Tom's probably a, a little ahead. Just, just a, just a smidge. Just a teensy weensy bit. What is this, Rashmi again? I'm trying to figure it out. I think that might be wrong. Scry two, then draw two cards, and make a four four, and tap down my arch demon. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And get two energy. I mean, yeah. they don't want to forget the energy. Energy sub theme, maybe? Energy no, standard. just. <laughs> this is the only time you'll see energy in, in Commander. <laughs> <laughs> Either Standard Commander or Richard. <laughs> yeah. I, I played a little bit of energy too. It was Energy Clue. It was mostly a Clue deck, and it had some energy there for flavor. We'll do unsung mechanics at some point in Enerald <laughs> Guild one of them. I'm not playing Skulk. Anything but Skulk. You're playing Skulk. <laughs> so yours now demand it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. This is not good for us. <laughs> nope. See, Seth, he would have been dead. Yeah? I it don't. It's Seth's fault. Oh, and oh. Seth saves the day. Yeah. <laughs> even Seth though everyone, even though everyone's yelling at me, <laughs> he still gets the seven seven. That's that's what a good friend I am. I save the day, <laughs> even when no one appreciates no. it. I no seven seven. It's not an instant or sorcery. Yeah, because that was an enchantment. Oh boy! Hey, serious lantern. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Am I getting attacked? No, 
I am. Six big ones. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm cycling this, so I'll do it Wait. now to save you damage. Do you want it? Oh, did you no, you're good. You're okay. Oh, okay. I just want to be able to respond to it. Isn't this might kill? Oh. It doesn't really kill much of anything. Well, now it doesn't kill anything. But I get a new card. I like that it's not negative one, negative one. Period. It's a counter. It's so good. Also, yeah, that happens. makes it much better. Why is your arch being hanging out in the lanes? Is that is that just me? Uh, yeah. It looks normal to me. Yours is like hanging out in between now, the planes and the swamp for me. Yep, that's what I see. Hmm. Oh, Moto. You never know with Archfiend. Archfiend does what it wants. It's hiding behind the sunflowers. Good old Moto. Can we cycle all of our problems away? That's a lot of power and toughness. Oh, did I say I wouldn't kill your Depala? I did say that, didn't I? You did. Did I mean it? Wow. <laughs> Probably not, because if you don't kill Depala, you don't kill Disciple. <sighs> Sorry, Nibbles of Frost. I was like, I'm not going to play Depala, and you're like, don't worry, you can play Depala, I won't kill it. <laughs> I don't remember those exact words. Uh... I think you said something video. about this turn cycle, which I assumed ended on your next chart. Right, so I well, think you're in the clear. We're gonna need we're gonna need that that nice old rewind feature on YouTube. Right let's, about. <laughs> let's cycle lurching raw beats. Depala lives. Okay. Let me quickly spend a mana from the Seer's Lantern. Okay. Aww. Oh. All right. Uh, well, uh, I <laughs> Depala is gonna die, but it's not because of the reason that I can't help this. That's what I'm trying to say. You're gonna be happy with the result of this, I think. Okay. Is it just so, a board wipe? Board wipe? Oh no! Yeah. Stop with the graveyard. Is it another graveyard. hour of devastation? Gosh darn it! You know what I'm uh, running? I'm running scavenger grounds because graveyard recursion is a thing. <laughs> And PSA to everybody out there, run Graveyard Recursion. I, I just getting back my hour of revelation, that's all. Goodness. Isn't that a good Wait, thing? Can't you I, can't you oh no. For a moment I was happy. Oh, for a nice no. moment. Aren't I saving the day? You're gonna do what I think you're gonna do? Blow up the board? Yeah. I mean it's not wrong. I'm a instant away from being able to trigger metallurgic summonings. Yeah, that that seems All bad right, blow, for blow, us. Blow, 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 blow. Uh... <laughs> Wait, you just get back like what? Oh, you get back instant sorceries, right? Yeah, or he just gets back our revelation. Okay, I can do. Depala X one. Yeah. So I can. Why can't I crew? Is crew on my on my turn? What? You should be able to crew. It's not letting me crew the care the cultivator caravan, but I guess that doesn't matter. Oh, that's that's that makes sense because of the crew. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> edit that out. I'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> it's tapper. Boop. Mm-hmm. Let's pay one. This doesn't actually get rid of the gods, unfortunately. And maybe. Nope. I guess not. That's asking for a lot. With just one. I'm running every single vehicle printed. And most of the dwarves, I would say. The dwarves that deal with vehicles, at least. Oh, new perspectives. I think most of my cycling <laughs> cards are in the graveyard. I just want to draw three for okay. six mana. There's 60 cards to go. Man, everyone still has a god. Yeah, but my yeah. opponent is now a 1-1 one, one double strike. 1-4 <laughs> double strike, which is not as fearsome. I guess I've got no a 3-3 three, three flyer. <laughs> I guess none of them were that close to actually attacking. 
I mean, Oketri no longer wants to attack so much. I don't think you should be worried about them attacking. They're just there for their ability now. Heedron Crawler. Hey, Heedron Crawler! Alrighty. Well, um... What do we do here? And... Hmm. Play the Palo again. Whenever it takes untapped turn. Yeah, let's just do this. Whoop. Mm. Gain some life. Oh wow, that's a. Uh... Gosh, huh. really. That's a thing. <laughs> uh, that means we're on a pretty fast clock. To um, kill yeah. Tomer. Seven Doesn't zeros. that mean with Apollo he can like severely decrease the amount of time he waits? We're on turn mm -hmm. twelve. Seven okay. Turns. Uh yeah, so we gotta yikes. That is not ideal. It's not necessarily seven turns, it's seven draws. And DePaulo, you're right. That gets through those pretty fast. Ugh. Really? But look at all that land. Can we make Rashmi? Tomer shuffle? Yeah, I mean, Rashmi's scary, too. <laughs> Rashmi's more immediately scary. Obviously, there's slight bias here, but also you've seen what Tom was casting as opposed to what I've been casting. That is that is true. Yeah, I've, attacked, I've activated Rashmi once so far. It drew me a land. Which is good, this is... because if she was allowed to be on the battlefield... <laughs> I don't have answers for her anymore. That's the thing. I, I use both of mine. This so. is much harder to activate when it's not when it's in standard. Like I'm not kidding. There aren't instants I want to play. Like I can't just activate every turn if I was in like regular commander. It's actively annoying. The mind dilation would have been good with her. That's the sweetest thing. That's living the dream essentially. Having Rocky yeah, that got countered then... by a negate. Ugh. Well. I guess we play new perspectives. Draw some yeah. cards. I think everybody has now a, a neat threat. I do? I mean, three of you us got have you. a neat threat. <laughs> <laughs> that you got Heatron Crawler. I mean, you can... Heatron Crawler's pretty scary, each man. Each opponent's about to lose mm -hmm. one life. I also don't know why it's not, like, extort where it scales. They decided... They did extort, and then they decided, you know what? Going forward, every each opponent's going to lose one life, but you're only going to gain one. That's our new design philosophy. Scaling and multiplier is bad. Extort too strong. I guess we just play a tap land and pass the turn. Not a single cycle. No cycles. Eight cards. I got to I got to save my haze of pollen. I might hey, need don't, that. Don't embarrass the man just because he can't cycle. Okay. <laughs> He's under pressure, it's okay. That's a personal issue, okay? <laughs> we'll discard a land. Ooh, Cradle of the Cursed. Neat. Yeah, and the Kelly Toss is back! Welcome back. Thanks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm mostly scared of Tomer, I think, actually. Really? Yeah, I'm really worried about him just motoring through his deck to Second Sun. Also, yeah. motoring through his deck is a really good pun. I think you're going to change your, your <laughs> opinion after this <laughs> turn when Tom gets to do things. <sighs> Tom like hasn't to done much with Rashmi yet. Mm. Maybe I should be more scared, but it's it just hasn't... because he hasn't had the opportunity to. Uh, it's true. Okay. I haven't had the opportunity to. Because well, just... you've killed it every single time. You yep. should do it one more time. <laughs> I do not have it, but I'm... I'm gonna try. Uh, this is gonna... This is basically... Cycling draw three. <laughs> Did you say cycling cycle draw, draw three? three? Yep. That's that's uh, pretty much all the way to approach of the second suns. It's not. It's just a pala. Oh, okay. So six cards? Six cards to go before we die? Lose? Mm. 
As of right now, yes. Hey, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Mobile garrison. Uh, so we got to deal with the Paul of this turn, or Tomer gets to approach. Yeah, because that can. Think. Yeah, that that uh, that does it. I'm also just I I wouldn't go approach because then there's the counter spell waiting for me. Two blue players. I think he used his only counter spell, which was that negate. I don't think he has more. <laughs> I don't have I too think many Tom counters. Has other counter spells because they work very well with Rashmi instance. I would be very shocked if I just went approach his second son and then and then Tom had nothing. Very, very surprised. Also, I just watch. Well, that's a good spell. <laughs> so oh. watch. I told you. Didn't I said you're going to be more surprised after this turn. Yeah, now oh and chef at monitor. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that was that was good draws. It's gonna keep going. That's a lot of manas. Oh my god. And this is renewal. Oh boy. That's even more mana. Now I'm just scared of everyone. Except Jen. <laughs> Except Jen. <laughs> Except Jen. <laughs> no Jen. offense. No offense. It's all Plus, right. Jen you scared just, me earlier. Gonna I was very game. scared of you earlier. We're going like Cold War tactics on everybody here. Everybody has a nuke. You have new perspectives. Tom has... Zendikar Resurgent plus Rashmi plus a billion mana. Oh my god. Oh boy. This is getting fun. I know I'm going to lose like the next turn, but I'm going to enjoy this turn right here. <laughs> I called it, folks. I did say your opinion would shift. This turn is fun. <laughs> I think I get a fun turn too, maybe. You get another he, I swear to god, if you cast Hour of Devastation again... <laughs> I, I'm not going to cast Hour of Devastation. I'm fine. I think with it, that. I'm out <laughs> of ways it. to get things to my graveyard. I thought you were going to use the Green Warden to get back out our devastation just for fun. So was I. That's why I groaned. No, you can only cast so many hour of devastations or revelations. I don't. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I am pretty excited for this turn, though. I think it's going to be sweet. I'm very scared now. of this turn. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to. No, no one dies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we start off with not Hour of Revelation, but Descend Upon the Sinful. All the gods die! Get out of here, gods. That's fair. That's fair. And Depala. Oh, I so want to. You should yes, uh, Depala your would mobile kill garrison. us, I know. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, if I could possibly draw one card, I would have been tempted to just sack the mobile garrison for that. But no, <laughs> that's the deal with the Zendikar Resurgent, though. Oh, he gets a he gets an angel. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice looking angel too. And then I have one of my other work. my other cycling payoffs. Is it late? Oh, of course, of course. So I, I knew it was going to be at least one of those cards, but no Panharmonicon. No, no Panharmonicon. The question is, what are we getting back? So at the beginning of combat. Oh, okay. All right. And I think the answer is... Does any of them have an answer to the battlefield effect? Nope. I think we'll just get Archfiend. Oh, Archfiend sounds like a lot of fun. And Tomer's got a ton of life, so... Sorry. And no. you also are digging towards approach. My life total, no. And go ahead. Yeah, Tom does still have the Zendikar Resurgence. You'd be surprised at how many lands are in my hand right now. The answer is, is oh, three. The answer is three. <laughs> so, just gonna try and do something with Tapala. Uh, not Tapala, I don't have Tapala with Rashmi <laughs> next turn and That's hope to get mind. there. Oh, yeah. oh, pew pew indeed. Dang. Let's get rid of this uh, Archfiend since the angel is basically vanilla. Ouch. Hmm. Well, uh, there goes that cycling payoff. Unless you're randomly going to <laughs> cycle four cards. Nope. I won't help. I'm not. Yes, I would like to use Gear Hulk's ability. Thanks. <laughs> no. 
Oh god, he's so close to getting there. This is really annoying. It's not. It's not. Is it that I, I could? It does, I'm hoping you draw stuff that makes you nothing. shuffle the your library. I, the card I drew does nothing, and I'm so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to. Just gonna, just gonna check it. I guess. I think it's time to just yeah cast a spell. Behold, the largest, most expensive mini wheel. Oh no. Oh no? That puts you to like two cards. Three, two? Two more draws? I just wait for Tom's turn. Is that oh, three draws? <laughs> yeah, that's You'll three. So yeah, not um... next turn, but the. No, next turn, if Chandra lives. We gotta yeah, get that's Chandra. Crazy. He's dead. You have four power on the. You have nine power on the board. I expect Chandra to die. So Man, we we're to... all gonna die to stupid approach to the second suns, aren't we? It seems possible. Oh no! That's another scry! Oh my god! I it's think getting we're dead... so bad. I think we're dead next turn to approach. I, mm -hmm. I really doubt yeah. it. I, I think that you draw I've approach gotta, next turn. Oh man, I've gotta if try you, and cycle through my entire deck yeah. here, huh? I just kind or of Or make him lost. shuffle. All right. Or make him shuffle is good too. Or just Let's first get two extra lands out of my deck. Or just Tom or Seth counters it. I think I feel like just playing approach to second sun is actually working against me at this point. My hand is so bad. So it's it's what, two cards deep? It's not the top card, but the one below the top card? I yeah. truly have no idea. I'm just trying not to draw land here. Oh! Okay, this might help. Oh. Target player shuffles their library. <laughs> I don't know. If they're not together, it's seasons past. Oh, God. Oh, no. That helps Tom yeah. a lot. The approach is actively working against me because... Yeah, once people see it come in... They try to kill you. And it's not going to resolve. Well, now it's probably not. What is Tom's season passing back? Mine's dilation. He doesn't actually even have a counter. He has three cards. Artistry. Island. Summonings, Nibbles. Uh, uh, now, now I don't even know. It's a race between Tom and Tomer. I don't know who's favored anymore. I'll, 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 uh, that was fun. I'll uh, put my bet on the person with eleven cards and a billion mana, and ways to draw even more cards. That's I just me, you're... though. But you have a card that says you win the game. Next turn. If it resolves, then it's not going to be next turn. Could be. It's highly doubtful. Okay, so this is actually going to matter. Seth, uh -huh. are we trying to kill Tomer here before he wins next turn? <laughs> uh, he, I mean, yeah. I'm also okay. scared of you, because you're probably going to play a billion things, but I, yeah, I am very scared of Tomer just winning next turn. Seth, you're going to immediately lose to Tom. I have cycling cards, though, Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows what they might do. A million mana, ten cards in hand, the ability to draw more cards, mind dilation. Oh, boy. Oh my god. Yeah, you're super dead. I don't have We're answers all... anymore. <laughs> yeah, me either. I got I got nothing in hand. Yep. So two gear hulks for Tom. Yep. No, I got Godfaro's gift. Godfaro's gift. And yeah, I'm that's not true. killing a creature here. Oh. Oh man, and this can get back Docent of Perfection, uh, which makes a million wizards. Uh, yeah, hmm. I don't like any of this. I think we have to kill Tom and Tomer somehow, which 
<laughs> it's me and it's me and you, Jen. I <laughs> has to do is counter my spell. I'm on your side, I'm, but I'm there's done. not much I can do. <laughs> That's all Tom needs to do is counter target spell, and then I'm out of the game essentially. But he might not have a counter. I the blue green player who's playing Rashmi and wants instant speed spells. That are good. I truly do not. So I'm trying to figure out a way to try and make sure you die by the by your next turn. I can't see it. Mm. Have you seen me cast a single counter spell yet? The answer is no. All right, leave stuff that one. They are the back. best instance to have from Frosh me though. It would make sense if you have them. That's that is true. I am pretty convinced it will not resolve. You gotta have faith. Right, this, is a, this is a quick graveyard check. I apologize. I have to see what the correct call is here at this point. I don't know what it is, and it's killing me. Because there's a lot of different options, and I guess we can just do what Seth mentioned, which is get back Docent, and then let Seth get back the. Uh, what is this thing called? Ghoul Draws Overseer. Then he can attack for. Cool draws eleven. Ugh. Cool draws overseer. Yeah, it's in my yard. Yeah. Oh, it only gets stuff from your graveyard though. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Whenever that is much worse than I thought it was. Oh my goodness. Oh man, swarm and oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want my hour of revelation again. This game is over. Uh, I think I'm out of ways to get back hour of I'm searching revelation. For a single counter spell so I can not die to this stupid hour of revelation. Well, if you get a single counter spell, you just win the game. Like I have exactly one counter spell in this deck. There it is. And I can't cast that one. Shoot. Okay. If that was well, your exactly one. <laughs> No, I guess I have two. There's this and Baral's expertise, or the the one with Baral in the front of it. I forget what the name of it is. Ah, uh, it's the one that's like modal. It's a modal spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah that thing. Mm -mm. But yeah, I don't have the land to cast confirm suspicions here. <clears throat> do I have a don't have Baral in your hand in my graveyard? I do not. Ah, uh, uh, it's the worst. Okay, try again. <laughs> One more time, everybody. It's possible that... Does Tomer even get there this turn? I don't think it's guaranteed if Sean there dies. There it is. I love this. Literally this. So Tom wins the game, I guess. Because if he untaps with that board state, we just lose, so... I like how your answer to that is then just let me win the game instead. Well, I like, mean... <laughs> that's cute, but... Look at your board state. No, I understand. <laughs> Ah, uh, that hour! Why did uh, I did not expect it to actually kill me? That is the problem with the spell. <laughs> yeah, you don't actually get that much value from God Pharaoh's gift. You don't have many creatures in your graveyard. Yep, I've got a Glyph Keeper, which is uh, awkward. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Or I've got this Dosen of Perfection. Gonna choose the Dosen here. An attack Tomer for four. Yep. Yeah, I got. Should it's actually Chandra for four or Tomer for four? I mean, Chandra mm. will die eventually, I assume. I guess if I have the counter spell for the hour, I'm not as concerned about Tomer's life lifestyle. Do you have the mana for that counter spell? Uh, yeah. yeah, as long as Zendikar Resurgence stays on the battlefield. Oh. <sighs> Forgot about that. Well, Seth, do you have an answer to Tom's board state? Because I do not. Uh, not yet. I'm working <laughs> on it. Time to cycle. Jeez. <laughs> uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I can't even cycle for free because I'm a card short. I have no way to draw a single card. Oh, no. Well... I get a creature back, but it's not really... 
Alright, well, I think we have to... Let's start by... I can let you cycle on my turn, if that's enough. Yeah, I still won't draw a card, though, I don't think. I mean, I can give you cards. Oh, you can give me a card? Oh, no, it says me. Never mind. Oh. One of my... I... Okay, so there's a couple of black draw two, lose two life. And I have one that's target player, but the one in my hand is not. Sorry. There eh. is one card that... Oh. I don't know. I, I basically, Seth, it's it's basically up to you to decide on who you want to win, or you could you could deal with Tom somehow and deal with me. I'm not sure. There are counters uh, available. I mean, if also, I had, I'm not a even sure if I win this turn. <laughs> it might just be next turn. All you have to do is scry with your Sears lantern and put it to the bottom before it's your turn to draw. Oh, yeah. Yep. Is that? Yeah, we see That's you. That's correct. Tomer. So don't we skip. see don't you, Tomer. I'm saving you from YouTube. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we do get to not no, die just... immediately. Yeah, if you just wipe the board, then I can't actually draw um, the hour thingy. He says that, but I don't believe him for a second. You only need a single cycling card. I. Yeah. Chandra just like well, one. That's what like you have. A the sweltering counters. suns or a desert. That's what you have the counter spell though for. Or cathartic. Though. Well, not if Zendikar Resurgent goes away. I'm not getting rid of Zendikar Resurgent. Oh, uh, have fun. Well, if you're not dealing with, uh, that's not gonna. That's fair. That's not gonna. That's not gonna stop him. Stop him from countering you. No, yeah. uh, winning the game on his turn. <laughs> like, this is it. This is he who wins the game this turn. How does he win the game this turn? Um, I'm also interested in this. There's no concordant <laughs> crossroads in standard. There's I not mean, even like a lightning green. 22 mana. You draw a card every single time you cast a creature. You make a token every single thing. When you make I mean, don't tokens, get me wrong. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'll be surprised if you don't win. How about that? I That's mean... Fair. I couldn't. I didn't have a way of dealing with Zendikar Resurgent anyway, so it's not like I. Ew. But I can attack Tom. There's like there's cyclers that deal with things. Wait, no, wait. But if I do that, then you just immediately win right away, right? Yeah, you win the exact next turn. At least Tom doesn't. I. You, I know for sure, win next turn. Tom probably has, like, some, I don't know, relatively high percent chance of winning next turn. But I, it's not as high as you, which is 100%. That's true. That's fair. There is and also, 100% versus, like, 99.9. And plus, you're not can adding my, my fog into your math, which drops sure. it to, like, 96 or 97. <laughs> I don't think that's so going to... <laughs> so I was going to be stopped by a haze of pollen. <laughs> you never know. Oh, no, a single fog. Well, time to pack it up. Good game. I mean, you don't just, you don't just lose next turn either. I, if Tom doesn't... doesn't yeah, this could just turn game, into Arch Enemy real quick. I, I think we're beyond that point. With that many resources on the board. Maybe we I, just try to kill Tom real quick. Yeah. I'm at 19. Well, I have no creatures on the board. We have a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4, four, four, and a 4-4. Four, four. You've got a mobile garrison. That's a yeah. spell. That's a 3-4. Yeah. And you get to draw. Scry first. Oh, no. I'm not going <laughs> to... It's a, it's a counter spell? It's kind of a trap now, I think, yeah, since you know just, about the counter. I'd rather just draw something. What type of... A, is this like a straight-up counter spell? Uh, insidious will whatever a counter or copy or oh yeah so whatever I can like be that. countered uh no only if you cast approach the second sentence I am holding everything I can't imagine he's gonna waste his counter on something other than that unless he's gonna die I'm also just proud that I only have 36 cards left in my deck that's fun yeah, you've gone a long way. You're outpacing the cycling deck <laughs> job, by quite a you. bit. Yeah, by a lot, actually. Ooh, huh. that's oh, yeah. pretty good. If 
purchase second sons costs how much again? Uh, seven. Seven, I think. Yeah. Okay. If he gets there and I'm being too greedy, I'll take it. It's on me. It's my fault. Also, swarm intelligence randomly. <laughs> so in case I really need to counter this spell, I will choose counter this spell again. I oh. can actually just keep copying Insidious Will here, which would be kind of cute. Wait. It... Why can't you keep copying it? You can only copy it once. Oh, yeah, never mind. It's, it's already it's modal anyways. It's stuck on counter target spell. You can, you can copy it anyway. Hooray. It's double countered. Countered twice. Ha ha. Oh, but then the second one fizzles. Yeah. Now it's just sitting there. Counter target spell. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay, thank gosh. Hey, Crippleth Fragment! Yeah. I remember this card. It's better in the head, but whatever. Alright, I'm done. Have fun! So can oh. Tom kill us? If he, if he doesn't definitively win this turn, I will be beyond surprised. Oh, boy. Yeah. Did you get back negate and I didn't notice? Yeah. That, that sounds like a yes. Okay. <laughs> no, it's in his graveyard. Yeah, what? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that was a good bluff, though. <laughs> I believed Pretty it for good. a second before I opened your graveyard. <laughs> yep, that's where I was too. <laughs> it's a, it's oh, wait, a, a easy, an easy one to check, unfortunately. <laughs> it's actually not so easy because Moto keeps closing graveyard. True. Okay, things, more things. things, more things. Maybe Tom will just mill himself out. Certainly mm, an still option got 30 at this cards. point. It doesn't sound like a Tom thing to do. It sounds like probably a Decimator Provinces at some point. That's my guess, as a finisher. Yeah, I could see that. Big old Glyph Keeper. What? You just wait, and this Haze of Pollen wins me the game. You just I'm wait. excited. Are you attacking me? Yep. All right, well, we're not going to waste our Haze yet. Uh, that wouldn't make more sense. Mm. I'm having so much fun with this deck. <laughs> We've gotten uh, into actual full EDH mode now. It's a blast. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, you go so to the describe. bottom... Yeah. <laughs> There's a Forsake the Worldly. I don't think hey. it matters now, though. Ah, uh, do I just have to keep cycling? Is that all I can do? You basically need our revelation back. Uh, okay, we'll cycle. And he also has a counter in his hand. That's true. Uh, to the bottom. Uh, cycle. <laughs> Digging deep. Oh, uh, uh, but Tom's. Does anyone have anything they can do against Tom? Not really, I'm, right? I'm I'm out of everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm top decking. I know you're top decking. To the bottom. Well, at this point, I might just tuck it, or just force you to waste your last counter spell. Either one really works. Cycle. I think I have like one card that does something. Uh, not a land. I'm running out of time to draw it though. Uh, cycle. Uh, not lumbering falls. I have one of those. Uh, okay, play tranquil expanse. Pass the well. We get something. Get something back. Uh, I guess just this angel's fine. Maybe we can kill him somehow. No. <laughs> no. I he's dropping to eleven. Yeah, but 
he... You know you just attacked Tomer, right? Wow. Oh. Thanks. That that was misclick. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant to say is <laughs> you can Tomer maybe... is having to talk. Oh, I'm... man. <laughs> I'm just so used to being friends with Tomer that I sometimes just oh. act him <laughs> oh without my God. reflex. That was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, he's not dropping to 11. Uh, that could have been a thing, to be fair. Do you think we could have killed him? No, but that was our best shot because he doesn't have any flyers at the moment. But he has Rashmi available. He has Zendikar Resurgent for all the mana and card draw. Yeah. Mind's dilation for anything you actually cast. And then if it's a spell, he gets to copy it and he's making tokens and he'll eventually get back all his instants of sorceries from his graveyard. Yeah, he's like I'm he's, pretty much at throwing the towel at this point. I don't have anything. These are really great points, Tomer. Yeah, th those are very good <laughs> points. Maybe well, Jen. Jen with the snap board wipe of all instants. Enchantments and artifacts. Yeah, I've got creature removal. I've got two creature removal spells, an itty bitty zombie, and oh. a theoretical <laughs> pile of zombies if I had more mana. Uh, I don't know if that helps us. I mean, it doesn't not help, but I don't know if it saves us. I'm gonna gain one life. I'm really excited for that, you guys. I'm gonna gain one life. Do you even have anything you could draw? Well, I guess no, Tom has a counter he can spell. Counter whatever he, yeah. And eventually he's just going to get back all the cards he discarded, too, of Metallurgic Summoning, which could happen, like, very soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might just be dead. Yeah, I'm going to see what I, I draw for Ponzi's, and it's okay with everyone. Just GG. Crit breaker. Rawr. I'm gonna do my part. <laughs> Break those. <laughs> <me. laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. The, the vamp doesn't fly, unfortunately. No, nope, but I'm gonna. I'm going to attack for solidarity. Because mm. there's uh, nothing I can do about this. <laughs> oh, I should upkeep stuff on my turn. You know. Scry it away. I'm gonna scry it away and see what. Well, actually, it just literally anything I cast doesn't do anything. It probably right. gets countered. I would assume it's well, a problem. It's, like I could draw into like hour of revelation of my own, or no, not our yeah, hour of revelation of my own. But then it just gets countered, obviously. So. Uh, well. We... Uh, yeah, it's probably it's probably over. There's no there's no reasonable way to win at this point. I don't think. Can Tom barring... just kill, well, kill Tom us this DC. turn? Tom, Tom could disconnect randomly, and then we could time him out. <laughs> <laughs> I not want to do that. So, <laughs> all right. I think I think it's good game. Good game, man. Uh, all right. Good show. I was wait. Go to your end of turn because I want to do a really fun. Okay, uh, good. It's your end of turn because you're dead anyways. Yes. I'm gonna do a really fun play. <laughs> let's see. Let's see Tom's really fun play. For the closer. Hold control. Okay. Cast and gulf the shore. Triggers. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh, so we were probably just literally dead this turn anyway. Oh, 100%. There was nothing. Like, if anything, it I gets better. could have hurt anything. It was just oh, Are you going to counter your own Catter, gulf the shore? Scatter the engulf the shore. Wait, yep. wait. All right, so you scatter the engulf. Wait, oh, that's three then. counters, mister. <laughs> and then you confirm suspicions and let Mr. this one be I copied. I only have one counter, then I have two counters, then I have three counters. And confirm turns on the metal the mode of Yeah. Summoning. Uh yeah. So we were we were Sneaky. yeah. We that's were very sad. dead. Very so much, much so. How long did you have scatter in your hand? Uh, I drew it. Uh, I mean he has drawn does draw what, a lot of two thirds of the deck, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty zany. Ah, uh, that's that's <laughs> Rashmi. Uh, approach approach was actually my finisher too. For real? Yeah, one of them. 
I also, I really wanted Abandoned Scarcophagus, which would have let me cast my cycling cards from the graveyard, and maybe would have done sweet. something, but never found it. That was the one card I really wanted to find. All right, can I scoop now, Tom? Yeah, 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 you're good. That's all I wanted to do. Was <laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> no I problem. I appreciate it. It was, it was a super sweet line. Yeah, the approach of Second Sun play seemed like it was the worst thing possible because it turned the table against me as opposed to Tom. And for good reason. If I got to cast it, then i just win the game. However, my I didn't have anything else remotely that powerful going on in the rest of my deck. So it was basically, does it win? Good. Then everybody scoops. Or does it get countered? And then during the time that it gets countered, um, I'm basically enemy number one, and I have to be dealt with. So I think that was the worst play I could have done in that game, just to have oh, it there. With hindsight, I mean, well, if you were going to win the game, it was the easiest way for you to win the game at that point. I was pretty sh Well, okay, so Seth just wiped the board. I saw there was a, 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 a pro opportunity for a clean slate. Maybe I can play it. And then I was hoping you guys wouldn't know that I could actually dig into it faster with the Pala. That was the reason why I ran it, was because the Pala can basically scry or draw cards um, up to the Second Sun. So I can cast Second Sun one turn. Next turn, I can just draw a bunch of cards with the Pala and dig through my library. And then the turn after that. So after three turns, I can play um, Approach the Second Sun and hopefully win out of surprise. But you guys... Picked that up very quickly, and I didn't have any chances to pull that off. And then at that point, that was an oopsie, oopsie mode because, yeah, Rashmi's Rashmi's pretty crazy, as as I, it could be found out. <laughs> yeah, it was a really weird match because I think you described it pretty well. Actually, the approach definitely turned the focus on you, especially once we realized that it could happen so quickly. And Tom definitely capitalized because Rashmi. Rashmi's crazy. Tom didn't do anything the entire game. Like, he really didn't do anything scary the entire game. And then in, like, two turns, he suddenly went from nothing to just absolutely winning. And Rashmi's very good at that. Yeah. But I, I think that that's, like, a problem with approach in general. My technique with approach in this deck was ideally I would be able to do it all in one turn. Like, it takes a ton of mana, but I was actually close, but with new perspectives, in theory, I'd be able to cast it, cycle enough times to immediately draw it, and cast it again, so I wouldn't have that, like, scary window where everyone knew it was coming and would try to attack me. So I think that was, like, a stretch, but I could imagine, approach seems really powerful, but I imagine that that's what would happen in most Commander games, that you cast it and people know the clock is ticking down yeah. and you immediately become the arch enemy. I think that that is the best way to do it, honestly. You just cast it and then recast it on the same turn, and the cycling deck can pull that off. You would need 14 mana to do so, but when you have new perspectives out, you could essentially just cycle six cards, or, well, seven cards? Something like that. Six yeah. or seven. Um, and, and those are cycled for free because of new perspectives or even fluctuator if you have the right cycling cards, but that is a little bit less consistent. And then if you have seven mana, you just have to cast approach twice and you win the game. Very, very difficult to deal with. Even against counter spells, you just have to wait until the person with counter spells is tapped out and nobody will probably see it coming and then you just do it. And that could lead to a good win condition. So that mm -hmm. was interesting. So... Seth, what other shenanigans did you have? We never we've seen cycling before, but we've only seen it when you have all the cards available. Uh, what were the the differences when you're playing it in standard? Uh, so you lose, you definitely lose some stuff that's very good, especially with new perspectives. Like the decree cycle has potential to be insanely powerful if you can cycle it for free and uh, blow up lands and sweep the board and stuff like that. Uh, even make a ton of uh, soldier tokens. So you lose that kind of stuff. You lose fluctuator. The cycling cards themselves are a little bit sketchy. I think the problem is most of the cycling cards aren't great when you actually cast them. You kind of pay a premium because they have cycling. And the cycling payoffs in Standard, while some of them are pretty good, I did have Drakehaven, I did have Faith of the Devoted, they don't 
match up all the way to like astral slide because you have to pay mana to activate them so there's this natural like safety on them to keep you from going too out of control but you got to see i mean most of what my deck did was cycling my big plan uh, i talked about approach of the second sun being a finisher my idea for that otherwise you got to see god's feral gift which does interact well with cycling you cycle the creatures you get them back and then the card I really wanted, which kind of made me go this direction, was Abandoned Scarcophagus, which lets you cast all your cycling cards from the graveyard. So the idea was it would basically be like suddenly we draw 30 cards or something because everything we cycle across the course of the game, and that's removal spells, and that's counter spells, and that's creatures. So that was kind of what I was hoping to go for. And... I never got a window to, like, tutor it out, and I don't really have that many tutors because it's standard. So I think it reinforce that it's very dangerous to build around a card in your 99 if it's not your commander because in that game we went through like half of our deck and never got to abandon Scarcophagus so that was a little disappointing because I wanted to see what it would do but you got to see most of the plan just cycle 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 hopefully use that cycling to eventually win the game yeah, and it looked sweet. Like, I know of the usual finishers. There's Drake Haven, there's the one that gives uh, drains life and whatnot. And we didn't get to see those, but we did get to see new perspectives out so you could draw a uh, cycle through your deck. But God's Fear, God Pharaoh's Gift is a new inclusion, and it was a very smart inclusion that I hadn't thought about myself. So that was really cool to see it in play. Yeah, it's definitely sweet. The only downside is you're getting back kind of bad creatures like the creatures are mostly vanilla some of them have flying but you don't get the cool enter the battlefield effects or anything That's but it's fair. still a pretty good value card just getting four fours every single turn for free yeah they're not all archfiend of of nix or whatever it's called if near if near <laughs> archfiend of if near whoops um but yeah the deck looked really sweet and one thing that we didn't really get to see too much of because of land screw or mana screw was Jennifer's deck. So we saw Kali test and we saw a little like snippet of hit of his power potential when you got a board wipe and you managed to just be the only one with a bunch of zombies in play. But the lands unfortunately did not agree with you. Um, so what what was in the deck that we didn't get to see? Well, the deck is a lot of just the best vampires and the best zombies in the format. Um, I was able to squeeze uh, Liliana, Death's Majesty, and Obnixilis, uh reignited in my deck. Um, and it would have been cool to play one of my Planeswalkers, because I rarely get to play Planeswalkers in Commander. But, I don't know, it, it was fine. Um, I also was playing Sengir Vampire, which people forget in Standard, because it's in the um, teaching deck. decks, the starter decks. So, I mean, I had Yahini, I had, like, Plague Belcher, I had, like, all the good zombie and vampire synergy cards. I felt like I was in pretty good position until the second board wipe, because it was theoretically those zombies would buy me enough time to get some lands, but mm -hmm. it just happens that way. Sometimes you don't get the lands you need. I think this deck has a chance, um, even in the same setting, if you know it gets off on a better start. Yeah, and maybe we get to see Kalitz make a return sometime soon because it seemed like he was really powerful and he shuts down graveyard strategies very well while just offering so much to the table and he could be a zombie leader and everything. There's a lot of potential there and we haven't gotten mm -hmm. to see him played yet. So it'd be cool to see him brought back at some point. And well, I'll just mention a little bit about my deck. Um, it's pretty standard. There's not a lot of dwarves and vehicles to choose from. So I just threw in all the best ones, all the dwarves that deal with vehicles, and then the ones that are standouts, like um, Solemn Recruit, which is a double strike that gets even bigger when things leave the battlefield. Um, so no real surprises there. Um, just the best removal in the format in white, and um, 
the only things that I would say of note that's like outside of the general strategy is I was per running Paradox Engine because it was basically a very fair deck and I was looking for ways to just give do some unfair things because it is Commander, so I wanted to um, bump up the power a little bit. And Paradox Engine has a really good synergy with the crew mechanic. You could crew something, cast a spell, untap the thing that you tap to crew, and then crew something else. So I thought that was a neat synergy. Um, you got to see Approach to Second Sun, which I would advocate taking out because I think it kind of goes against what the deck really wants to be, and it's like an aggressive deck that is very um, fair and very much um, what you see is what you get. Like, the board state is the board state. Um, and Approach to Second Sun can bite you as you as you saw and i think it's going to bite you more often than it won't bite you oh i guess the only other thing that is neat about vehicles and the pala is she works very well with um i would say creature board wipes because your vehicles are not creatures usually and unless you turn them into creatures you could board wipe and you only lose some of the creatures that are on the board as opposed to all of them so i think mm -hmm. she synergizes well with board wipes so i did run a bunch of them and my favorite of them was definitely dust to dawn uh the dusk side is a trail of creatures with power three or greater it doesn't hit most of my creatures because they're small and the vehicles are not hit because i'll just leave them not as as vehicles um as not as creatures so it's already good um usually an asymmetrical board wipe instead of just killing all my stuff and then the dawn side again all my stuff is really cheap low power creatures that are crewing my bigger creatures so they'll all come back to the board very easily so uh, the deck the deck is sweet uh, it works best in standard it's a very fair deck though it's not going to do anything that you wouldn't really expect and went out of nowhere unless you maybe catch people with a uh, approach to second sun when they don't know about the Depala trick. But otherwise, the deck is, is sweet. It, it's aggressive, it's fun, and had a good amount of card advantage. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, my deck was pretty simple. I mentioned before we started that this deck actually started as a spells, like as a spell only, as like a creatureless deck. Mm. But I just wasn't able to get there, which is really sad. It just. It was going to be a summonings and then mechanized production deck and try and win that way, but there just wasn't enough support for it. It would have just languished and had to run like 55 lands. So that didn't seem like a fun deck to play with or against. So I instead just was like, oh, I'll just basically build a blue-green uh, big mana deck like I would for just regular non-limiting commander. And it ended up just being a good non-limited blue-green big mana deck, which was awesome. Uh, Zendikar Resurgent is still dumb. And I don't think I could do as much without it. But I was really impressed with Storm Intelligence. I uh, I thought it could be really good, uh, but I feel like it actually presented really well. It reminded me a lot of the card Caster Time, but just immediately better. Mm -hmm. Caster Time forced them to have rebound. You had to wait till your next turn. It would do nothing when you cast it. But with Swarm Intelligence, I could see like real magic decks casting Swarm Intelligence just like gushing or something and drawing way too many cards at once. And I think this card's actually going to be good going forward, and I was really happy to try it out. I was I was really impressed. And uh, overall, yeah, the deck performed really well. It's, it's about it. I was happy with it 100%. I didn't get to run Oracle's Vault, which, a card, which is a card I'm still trying to see if it's good or not. Hmm. Not sure at all. Uh, but besides that, yeah, it was really cool. I enjoyed my deck, and I'm happy I got to take a win, steal a win, prevent the second sun from approaching, and <laughs> Nicol Bolas rising from the earth, or the plane. How are you <laughs> the God Pharaoh will come another day, I suppose. That <laughs> it wasn't he will. His hour <laughs> was not his hour this time. Yeah, it was cool to see all the big commander battle cruiser enchantments on the battlefield all at once with Rashmi as the trifecta and all of them kind of synergizing really well. Like you had at some point you had Rashmi and Mind's Dilation out, and mm -hmm. it would have been even sillier if you had um, if you hit like. I think I think this could work if you hit like a instant or sorcery and your giant enchantment. I forgot the name of it. Might be able to copy it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's how it works. If I get one of your if if I exile one of your guys, instant and sorceries. Then when I cast it using mind dilation with swarm intelligence, I then get a copy of that as well, mm -hmm. which is adorable and I hope actually works. And then obviously the Rashmi trigger. So then if you yep. have an instant or sorcery on that one too, that one also copies just live the dream. I think that like embodies um, the battle cruiser magic style of commander that people usually fall in love with the format. So it's just 
so much value. You can't beat that much value, which is so much fun. That's really how I built the deck is just as much value as possible. And it ended up coming together at the end, which I was really happy about. So, yeah, I would, I mean, if you notice, you can build this deck for like 20 bucks on Magic Gathering Online easy. And it plays a lot of really strong cards. There's a lot of really cheap upgrades you could do to it as well. So if you want to build a deck like this and just play it on Magic Gathering Online, it's about the same price as buying into a draft. But just a slight bit more, but you get to have a lot more fun with it. And speaking of price, I just wanted a, a quick um, price from everybody. What was the end um, amount of your deck uh, paper-wise? Like if you wanted to build this deck at home um, playing the cardboard version, how much how much were your decks ending up? Because wow, mine, mine is only 67 yeah, mine's sixty-eight dollars. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> mine's uh, sixty-nine. So we're right in a row. Is your seventy, Jennifer? <laughs> it's not. It's eighty-eight. But if oh, you took oh, out poly toss, uh, which is fifteen bucks, too rich for Ooh, it's closer to yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, they're is... all on hundred dollars, under a hundred dollars easily. And most of the, I don't think I have a, a commander deck anymore that's under it. Actually, I have one more. I have one that's under it. But when when you ask people, I think the average is is much much higher than that so that's what i love about standard commander is the decks are really cheap so there's not a huge investment to just get in to play the format make a standard deck and try it out and i think the format's really good um the standard the standard card pool is diverse enough that you're going to have a lot of different play styles and you're forced to play with cards that are not just the usual staples and you get an appreciation of cards that you might be passing over for like the very best that everybody plays so i think it just keeps it fresh and it, it's it's a cheap enough investment to jump in that it's well worth jumping in yeah i i see i don't see why you wouldn't make this a starting point and build from there like when i first started playing commander cards were like five cents and you could get really good rares but one of the most common ways to get into commander was just oh I really liked this standard archetype. Let me build it from standard cards because it's really cheap. And then as the years or sets come on, you just swap out cards and make your deck better and then maybe splurge $7 for a new card. And it's really easy to make a really competent commander deck very quickly. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.